Hey gang, how's everybody doing? What do I say at the start of every video? It's been a while, and it has been. It's uh, when you're in the northern climate, sort of casters, concrete guys, this is the spring is our busy, busy time, like I'm sure it is for a lot of you. Um, it's our peak season, I guess, when, when all the everybody's working in their garden and they want to come and look ideas. And so I just thought it'd be a good opportunity while I've got uh, the room set up for finishes here. I, I had to stop casting uh, for this week just because these are all custom orders. Uh, so I had to just stop and catch up because we didn't want the people to wait too long for their, their product. So uh, <clears throat> so these are all, these ones here are the, the front three, sorry, front four. That's all um, water-based stains, these guys here. And this one back here is acid wash. The angel, the big angel is acid. A couple of crows with uh, water-based stain on here. This is one too. I was playing around with this last year, and uh, it's it's like a faux jade finish. Some heavy greens and black in there. It turned out really nice. I'm sure the lighting in here won't do it uh, uh, justice, but uh, it looks pretty awesome. So I'll probably be using that a little bit more on some other projects coming up. <clears throat> so I, I did start a video earlier because I have all these blanks over here. Like the tables were full of uh, primed pieces. For color washing uh, and then I thought well what the heck I'll, I'll bang a bunch off so you can see the the before and after sort of a, a look to them so maybe we'll start down here and so you can see this is the just with the base coat is the dragon here and then I just finished a couple minutes ago here it is the, the finished so it's just this silver base. I've, I've shown it before. There's actually a video of me doing a different dragon uh, with this finish on it, but uh, he looks pretty cool. And uh, I've got three of them to do. Uh, two are for one client and another for another. So these are uh, the Buddhas that I did, the dragon Buddhas this year. Um, I've got another one back on that table. So uh, two customers wanted it with this base gold it's sort of like an asian more yellowy gold and then we had a customer who wanted a soft like a brass gold so i, I try and get as close as i can to what their wishes are i, I try never to guarantee that i can get a hundred percent because you never know when you're tinting and coloring and exactly how it's going to be especially with staining i usually always tell people that um, i can't guarantee from a photo or something they see that i can do it identically I can come pretty close, but it, it's hard to be exact with stains, especially acid stain. Um, so these hearts will have a little different finish on. I'll probably show those later in another vid or some pictures that I'll post. So these are all ready to go. I got skulls and dragons. So I'll just show you some of the, the finished pieces, more finished pieces with the wash. So here's those Buddhas over there. So here we go with the finish. Uh, it doesn't have a sealer on it yet. I hope the light is okay. Actually, I'll bring my light over here so it's a little bit better. There we go. So you can see it really makes all the detail really pop. Uh, it looks awesome. And once you get a coat of sealer on there too, or a couple coats of sealer, it's going to really pop on top of that. So uh, I'm really happy how it turned out. Uh, this is a Buddha from last year. With just the black wash again. He's pretty good. And this is the leaf ball I did a few years ago that I made a mold of. Uh, again, once you put the sealer on there, it's going to pop like crazy. Uh, I know this isn't everybody's cup of tea. Sorry, Megs. Skull. And a mini leaf ball in the silver and black. And then this is the uh, Edgar Allan Poe, the raven, raven skull. You can see it's inscribed with words and phrases from the raven, the poem. A uh, good seller already. Uh, these Buddhas are kind of flying out the door, so are the dragons, just, just in raw. 
Uh, I've had trouble keeping up with pouring them. I'm, I'm like every other day you're pouring another one and as soon as I do them, she's selling them in the store. That's Anna, my wife. But uh, it's good. You want that, right? We all want that in this business. You want to be busy and hectic. And uh, I'll just mention with this Buddha here, because he's quite large and really detailed, <clears throat> and same with the dragon, a little bit different than what I'd normally do. Normally, I, I, you have your primer. I wait one day, like I never prime and paint and wash the same day. So it's a primer was yesterday. Now today, I'm going to put on the, the black. If you do it the same day, what happens is you start rubbing off the silver. It'll soften up the paint underneath and you'll, you'll rub it off with your sponge and, and then you're left with a raw concrete look under. And it's, it's, it's not too appealing. So wait a day, one day, wait a day, put the wash on, wait another day to put the sealer on. But because the Buddha is so large and so detailed, not so large, but just detailed and lots of nooks and crannies, and this big guy here too is normally you do the whole thing in the black wash like here it is just here that's my thin down black paint is here in a cup so normally what you do you paint the whole thing have all your sponges ready to go uh, damp sponges and then peel or, and then wipe him off but the problem is because of his size and his uh, and the detail i'm just doing sections at a time so i'm doing the head and the throat in a section i'm doing the front piece the lower front in one section and then I do a side and then I'll go over and do the other side back here and then last I'll do up the tail and on the back side of the wings and on the back side of his head why I'm doing that is because the paint dry like I've got the it's really cool in here uh, it's only about 10 degrees Celsius and I want to keep it that way uh, because the paint dries really quick and if I would do the whole thing and then try and wipe off it really looks awful because you start pulling it's dried paint and you're pulling it off and it, it looks like a little chip you can go back and, and wet it again and take it off but because of the size of these it's just way easier to work in sections so try not to put too much paint on your brush uh, so it doesn't drip down and run into the other areas just try and focus on your one area at a time keeping it neat and tidy cleaning up and then moving on to the next and and it works out really good and, and the same with him like he's the one i did over there was i did the top section first in the back of his head then i moved down to this area under here and then i moved back to this side spun him around did this sort of a section in here and then this back piece here was the next. And then I moved on to underneath here. So it, it just worked when it's a complicated thing with lots of areas. If, if I was to do that all in one shot, by the time I got around to the back, this paint is drying already. So just a word of advice. I think I mentioned in other videos, if it's the middle of summer and you're doing paint, do it first thing in the morning when it's cool. Don't be trying to do it in the afternoon when it's you know, 85 or 90 degrees Fahrenheit or in the 30s uh, in Celsius, or you're just going to have a nightmare. Uh, like your model's going to be hot. <clears throat> uh, the room's hot. You'll slap it on. You'll get 10 inches down and, and it's going to be dried already. And then you've got a big problem on your hands. So first thing in the morning when it's nice and cool is the best time to do that. So uh, anyway, I'll say uh, manana for now to everybody. And uh, just to give you a quick peek, and sorry I haven't been on much, but uh, it's uh, the hectic time. So I'll do as much as I can the next little bit. And take care, everybody. And we'll all talk to you later. Bye-bye.